experiencing this kind of problem, you don't need to blame it on anyone. It is your joystick. It is not supposed to be a sad stick. You don't need to blame it on anyone. Oh, 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 hey. Thank you, Jesus. Hello, beautiful and amazing Pathfinders. Welcome back again to another helpful video fam. How are you all doing? I hope you all are doing well. Thank you all so much for clicking on today's video. And I want to say happy new month to every one of you. I want to appreciate each and every one of you for always watching my videos, liking, sharing, and commenting. Oh my goodness, I can't appreciate you less. God bless each and every one of you in Jesus' name. Please, if you know you have been watching my videos, you haven't yet subscribed. Maybe you are thinking, oh, subscription, you have to pay for it. No, you don't need to pay anything for it, all right? What you need to do right now is to touch the word that spells subscribe in front of this video. It's actually free. Touch it until it turns gray. If it doesn't turn gray, do not leave it, all right? Yes, and the next thing you are going to do is to touch the bell that is next to it and click on all. So you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. God bless you. Yes, we are doing a very quick one today and it is something very, very sensitive. It is about the men, all right? We are going to be speaking about erectile dysfunction. Yes. I know some men are actually, you know, shy to speak about it. But remember, problem shared is half solved. Yes, some men do have this problem. It is not because their grandmom has bewitched them or their stepmom has bewitched them or they have done something wrong or someone has cast a spell on them or maybe they refused to marry the girl they were supposed to marry. No. No. In this case, that is not what you should be looking at. Because that might not be the problem. Remember, a lot of people are actually very, very nonchalant. A lot of people are very, very reluctant to go for a checkup. Erectile dysfunction can be as a result of heart disease. Erectile dysfunction can be as a result of obesity. It can be as a result of high blood pressure. It can be as a result of high cholesterol. Yes, the LDL cholesterol. Some do go through it as a result of diabetes. There are a lot of factors that contribute to this erectile dysfunction. But some don't know. When you start experiencing this kind of problem, you don't need to blame it on anyone. It is your joystick. It is not supposed to be a sad stick. You don't need to blame it on anyone. Straight up, you have to visit your doctor and go for a proper checkup. Yes, and again, you have to watch your diet. What kind of food do you eat? Are you the type that is so much in love with smoking, excessive smoking and drinking? It is high time for you to stop it if you want your joystick to give you joy. Are you the type that is so reluctant in working out? Remember, you have to exercise daily. You have to keep every organ in your body active. It is very, very important. Or are you the type that sleeps for two hours, three hours? Four hours. Remember the maximum hours that you have to sleep is 10 hours as an adult. Then the least is eight hours. It is very, very important. And again, erectile dysfunction can be as a result of emotional stress. So at this point, I'm going to be leaving you to watch this video. Make sure you watch it to the very end. Okay, and get a pen and a paper so you'll be able to list the foods that are going to be displayed in this video right now. All right, the kind of food you should incorporate in your daily diet, and you are going to see a very huge difference. If you know you are going through this problem, stay away from excessive smoking, drinking. Do not over labor yourself and do not over fire. Okay, you know what I mean. Okay, just do as you can. Tell madam you cannot do more than yourself. All right, yes, so you'll be able to restore your joy stick. God bless you and please do not watch alone. Use it to sow a seed in the life of someone by sharing to the person. God bless you and I'll be seeing you all in my next one. If you have any question, please leave it down below. 
I'll be there to answer you. Thank you, Jesus. We are the workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works which God prepared before us that we should work in. to work in your vineyard, I never respect, you called me out of darkness, I could never imagine. Please, uncle, if you are still that type that goes to the grocery to go and shop sugary foods, please stay away from it. Processed sugary foods, you still shop for candy, sugary chocolates, what are you doing with them? You don't need them at all. These ones are for kids. I know sometimes it's normal, you can crave something sugary. But there are all natural type of sugar that you can actually use as supplements. Please abstain from these processed sugary foods. You are not doing yourself any good at all. Even if you have to take chocolate, you can go for the black chocolate, which is very, very healthy for you. Yes, the other one is 70% and this one 85%. The black chocolate is better for you. And stay away from processed drinks. They've got lots of sugar. What you need to do is to make your own juice by yourself with natural fruits. And stay away from unhealthy fats. Alright? Olive oil is actually good for you this time around. Just be very, very careful and selective. What you eat determines your entire well-being. All right?